स्नाता विश्व वंदे तुण लब्ध I bow down to the promulgators of the pathway of liberation who have destroyed the great heaps of karma the knowers of reality so that we all may realize the same jai jinendra to one and all uh, all the regular students of the sunday batch and i can see virendra ji patni kusum lata ji uh, minoti uh, minoti is from this batch only yeah jyotsna and others uh, from other batches uh jay jinendra can i have one jay jinendra from all of you jay jinendra ma'am jay jinendra ma'am yes 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 uh kusum lata ji these lectures will be in english kusum lata ji i hope you understand and you can follow yes okay very good very good chalo so i am not going to take the whole book i am going to give you the summary of the book and how was your first paper all of you did the objective yes ma'am i just finished it last night it was easy the question paper english it is, it is english but i mean it's easy but uh, it is uh, thoda samajh ke likhna hai twisted question hai thode huh. thode questions are twisted but we can do it and uh, i'm very grateful to parmagam team and you ma'am you have explained us so uh, well अगर आपकी रिकॉर्डिंग अगर बार बार सुने तो इट मेक्स लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस सो दिस टाइम आई कुड डू मच बेटर क्योंकि आई केप्ट लिसनिंग टू योर रिकॉर्डिंग्स टू संजीव जी रिकॉर्डिंग सो इट मेड अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस सिली मिस्टेक बट आई कुड हैव डन मोर बेटर थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच मैम सो यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी यू कैन आस्क yes anybody any time can ask me the meaning of the question how to interpret the question how to read the question because uh, you don't have the english books for many papers yes, that's why okay yes, that's yes ma'am yes i won't give the answers i'll help you to understand the question that's all sure okay sure. anybody else all of you should take the objective test because when you take it you will know oh this is what i don't know this is what i know this is what i need to know okay dear yes ma'am yes sure yeah. so i am going to give you the summary of the first two chapters of bara bhavna book i hope you all have this book bara bhavna anushilan okay and uh, you can mark with pencil whatever i am telling uh, and if you want to write anything in english you can make notes of it okay this is a book written by dr hukam chand ji bharil and it has run into many 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 editions at least 11 editions in 2019 11 bar ye kitab chhap chuki hai that shows the popularity of the book as i told you earlier there are hundred sets of bara bhavna ke dohe couplets okay so you can also write your own uh, couplet of bara bhavna and uh, make it popular hmm so uh, other things and all you can read i'll straight away come to the first two chapters the first chapter is like a torch is like a prelude to the whole 12 bhavnas okay it is a prelude to the whole of 12 bhavnas now what is the inspiration for him to write the book etc etc all that you can read from page number 1 to 9 i am not going to read all that come to straight away page number 10 i explained the four lines in the last class somewhere i will be singing in hindi which is given in the book somewhere i will be straight away doing the translation okay chal uh, the first four lines let us sing which is the uh, what to say uh, the summary of the whole bara bhavna and jinwani पूरे जिनवाणी का सार यदि है तो वो ये फोर लाइंस है इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फोर लाइंस ओनली देन यू कैन अप्लाई बारह भावना एंड रीच वेर दे आर ट्राइंग टू टेल यू चलो मैं ध्येय हूं श्रद्धेय हूं मैं ज्ञेय हूं मैं ज्ञान हूं 
बस एक ज्ञायक भाव हूँ मैं मैं स्वयं भगवान हूँ इस सत्य को पहचानना ही भावना का सार है ध्रुव धाम की आराधना आराधना का सार है नाउ दो डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश आई विल क्विकली अगेन गिव यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फोर लाइन इवन दो आई गिवन इन द लास्ट क्लास मैं ध्येय हूं दैट मीन्स आई एम द गोल मैं श्रद्धेय हूं आई एम द वन दैट हैज टू बी बिलीव्ड इन मैं ज्ञेय हूं आई एम द वन दैट इज टू बी नोन मैं ज्ञान हूं आई एम नॉलेज अरे हाउ मच टू से बस इनफ आई एम ओनली अ नोयर एक ज्ञायक भाव हूं आई एम ओनली अ नोयर I myself am God. मैं स्वयं भगवान हूं टू नो दिस रियालिटी इज द एसेंस ऑफ बारा भावना भावना वी आर टेकिंग वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टू द भावनाज भावना मीन्स अनुप्रेक्षास और कॉन्टेम्पलेशन और रिफ्लेक्शन सो आई वॉन्ट गिव कॉन्टेम्पलेशन रिफ्लेक्शन इन इंग्लिश यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वेन आई से भावना आई मीन रिफ्लेक्टिंग अपॉन समथिंग so when you reflect again and again and again on this truth oh i am god but when you just simply okay. saying god does not make you god you have to understand the nature of godhood so god is of the nature of knowledge then then you have to understand the nature of knowledge only then you can believe in it you can make it your objective you can realize it you can uh, uh, reach it and then you can liberate yourself and then it is dhruv This ज्ञायक भाव इस त्रिकाली ध्रुव और निम्स ओके सो इट इज त्रिकाली ध्रुव त्रिकाली मीन्स वॉट इन योर लास्ट लाइफ यू आर नॉट प्रिया और रमेश और नंदिता और महेंद्र और एनीथिंग सो इन दिस लाइफ ऑल्सो यू आर नॉट ऑल दैट अरे बाबा आई एम महेंद्र एन ऑल माई रेकॉर्ड एंड ऑल आई हैव प्रिया महेंद्र एन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा अरे येस फ्रॉम व्यवहार पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू आर ओनली प्रिया यू आर ओनली महेंद्र बट फ्रॉम द रियल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू आर नॉट इट इज लाइक गोल्ड यू नो gold is a bangle today that bangle can be broken but the gold cannot be broken hai na bangle can be broken but that gold can you twist and turn and make it silver or bronze or platinum no it will eternally remain gold so like that you are also eternally like that gold but the bangle is your human form etc 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 but that is not eternal but we think no we are this body we are this name and something happens to this we get we fret and frown and have all anxiety all kinds of problems so there is no samata in our life there is no equanimity there is only ups and downs and we flow with the ups and downs and we don't know what we are doing with our lives so we don't understand the trikali trikali means eternal pure self that is dhruv dham log char dham ki yatra karte hain without doing the yatra of this dhruv dham that is without realization of this dhruv tatva any yatra is only punya band and if you have a big tall ego of that then pap ka band mithyatva ka band everything happens i don't want to go into that so aradhana aradhana means adoration aradhana means adoration so the the essence of adoration is realization of the eternal pure soul so bara bhavna bara means 12 taking to these 12 fold contemplations is to realize the eternal pure soul and that realization is the essence of adoration 
got the meaning of the first four lines yes ma'am so like that i cannot explain everything line by line line by line for that i will need at least one year yeah i understand so line by line i can explain but it will take me one year and you don't have one year i don't have one year so now let us come para by para i'll give you the summary so what uh, dr sub dr sub means here bharil sub he says that um, in prathamanu yog no if you take 24 tirthankar puran everywhere you will see how the tirthankars to be took to these anuprekshas and they got uh, samyak darshan they got uh, nirvana etc etc so in prathamanu yog the material for uh, dravya uh, bara bhavana is scattered okay and then many things i'll be adding on my own to support what bharil sahab is telling so in prathamanu yog you find likewise the concept of bara bhavana comes in charananu yog under the samvar tatva ha huh? dwadash anuprekshas i told you other day 57 divisions of samvar in that you have 12 anuprekshas then essence of bara bhavana is dravyanu yog essence of bara bhavana is the subject matter of dravyanu yog now if you don't take to bara bhavana where all you can wander in the universe measurement of that is karananu yog understood okay so he says that if we were to bring out all those references from the different anu yogas of bara bhavana we will have one encyclopedia only with us that much of references are scattered of bara bhavana in our texts in our sacred literature okay ha huh? so now he says the importance of bara bhavana in spiritual evolution cannot be debated the essence of uh, what to say the application of bara bhavana for spiritual evolution cannot be debated am i okay my speed is okay mahendran sir yes ma'am yes ma'am those sure. who miss anything should catch up with the recording yeah sure, okay? sure. yeah so now he says that uh, we have to understand the purpose the shelly the methodology of the application of bara bhavana and we should understand the focal point of bara bhavana that is most important and i am going to research on that in this book throughout in this book that is only my anusandhan ka uh, mera purpose my my focus of writing this book is to bring out the focal point of bara bhavana that is the mool kendra bindu and the mool drishti kon simply doing bara bhavana will not lead to pathway of liberation you have to understand the purpose the idea behind it is it clear okay so now he says uh mm, people don't understand the name anupreksha so much so bhavana word is very very popular so we use the word bara bhavana and then uh, our uh, our women folk now our women folk in our households they regularly sing this bara bhavana okay the reg- the pregnant ladies and mumuk shoes and uh, our uh, old ladies and all no uh, women folk they regularly sing this bara bhavana it is like their nitya swadhyay kram in swadhyay how you do namokar mantra meri bhavana uh, and all those things like that they sing bara bhavana also and we also have done bara bhavana in so many places in our keval ravi kirno se poojan we had bara bhavana then uh, we did it separately dravya thaki sarvastir we had it then in chedhala we did it three places we have already done no so you should know the name of the bara bhavana and for that tatvart sutra anitya sharana sansar ekatva anyatva shuchi asrava sambara nirjara lok swarupa bodhi durlabha dharma bhavana like that okay so 12 names you should know first in the first place then he says in uh, kartikeya anupreksha kartike swami says bhavi bhavi uh, bhaviya bhaviya jana ananda jananiyo 
भविय मीन्स भवि जीव जन मीन्स जीव लोग भवि लोग भवि जीव के आनंद की जननी इज दिस बारह भावना जननी यू ऑल नो मदर जस्ट एज अ मदर गिव्स बर्थ टू चिल्ड्रेन गिव्स बर्थ टू अ चाइल्ड लाइक दैट दिस बारह भावना गिव्स बर्थ टू आनंद द ब्लिस दैट वी ऑल सीक okay without bara bhavna it is somewhere it written age in the past whoever has gone to moksha in the present who are going and in future whoever will go it will only be by taking to the 12 fold one or two or all or any of the 12 fold anuprekshas okay ha huh? it is sakshat mukti ka karan it will bring you face to face with your pure self it will bring you face to face with liberation okay then um and then he says padmanandi acharya padmanandi says that it is, i i would like to read it out in sanskrit dvadasha api sada chintya anupreksha mahatma bihi tad bhavana bhavatyeva karmanam kshaya karanam He says, "Vadashapi, Vadashapi means these twelve fold anuprekshas, chintya. Chintya means contemplation. Okay, anupreksha means bhavana. Dvadash means twelve anupreksha. Mahatma bhi, mahan purush, mahan, mahan means great souls who believe that they are a knower, they are who have set the goal, etc., etc." they should take to these 12 so ordinary people or great people people who want to evolve or people who are on the evolutionary high on the evolutionary ladder both take to these 12 fold anuprekshas why tad bhavana bhavatyeva taking to these 12 fold anuprekshas is karmanam kshaya karan it is the cause for destruction of karmas so when you are not taking to the bara bhavna you are binding the karmas and even if you don't know the methodology and you take to the bara bhavnas you will bind the bondage of shubha karma only when you apply the methodology you will lead to a you will reach a state of no karmic bondage so not taking to bara bhavna ashubh karmo ka ban taking to bara bhavna adha adura not understanding the methodology is shubh naam karm ka ban applying the methodology and taking to bara bhavnas will help you to reach the no bondage state that is a liberated state moksha marga state okay next acharya shubha chandra he is given so many in gyanarna this is a very beautiful text which you show which you all should read it is available in english also you can ask me for it i'll give you the details later it is uh, gems of jaina wisdom volume 8 you can go on e jain library and see if it is there uh, i think by translation by dashrath chain hmm vidyati kashayagni vigalita rago viliyate dhvantam उन्मीशती बोध दीपो हृदय पुंसा भावनाभ्या कषायाग्नि द कषाय अग्नि दट इज बर्निंग इन ऑल ऑफ अस नाउ आई डोंट हैव टू ट्रांसलेट कषाय अग्नि फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू राइट यू आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड द कषाय अग्नि विच इज बर्निंग इन अस because of this rag rag is there inside sitting inside it won't come out it will send the kashaya outside krodha mana maya log will come outside rag dvesh are the trigger points inside they are the enemies sitting inside the jeeva does not understand that they are my enemies and he thinks it is a part of me and he takes to them and he takes to kashaya so that kashaya agni is burning in them and so the jeev is searching for happiness how much ever pleasures he enjoys outside 
without burning this kashaya agni 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 is there so coolness cannot be there so without burning that agni out he cannot experience that real happiness then he says when one takes to these bara bhavna that kashaya agni becomes shan the rag gets the rag that is sitting inside gets diluted the darkness of ignorance goes and what happens in the hriday the gyan rupi deepak shines you understand how important the bara bhavna is the benefits the bara bhavna will help you to overcome the kashaya agni conquer the rag overcome the darkness of ignorance and become enlightened with gyan with samya gyan with keval gyan first understanding the gyan makes your gyan samya gyan and when you keep nurturing the samya gyan that flame of gyan becomes the flame of keval gyan any fire will start with a small spark when continuously the fire burns it becomes a big flame it becomes a forest conflagration or a big forest fire or whatever it is and beautiful beautiful it says now che dhala see before you, you understand how important this chapter is yes then we'll come to the first second third bhavna like yeah. muni sakal vrati bad bhagi bhav bhogan tai vairagi vairagya upavan mai चिंते अनुप्रेक्षा भाई इन चिंतत सम सुख जा गई जिमी ज्वलन पवन के ला गई जब ही जिय आतम जा नई तब ही जिय शिव सुख ठा नहीं दे हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दीज लाइंस इन छेड़ा अगेन विल सी मुनि सकल व्रति बड़ भागी व्हाट ही सेस ह muni first of all a person should be a muni at least man se muni ho jaye tan se nahi muni bane no problem man se jo muni banega when you become a now i have to translate this in english man se muni matlab detached attachment sansar mein hai to attachment is there but let it be detached let it not be so deep rooted upar upar se formal way mein you have to do things okay that doesn't mean you go to your children's house and you say look baba i am doing paramagam course i am doing bara bhavna so i am detached upar upar se i have to come to your house so i have come to your house no wahan pe to papa beta beti all wo sab vyavhar jo bahar mein chal raha hai natak ko chalne do andar mein keep your tube light on Under me, keep your light on. That I am not all this. I am not all this. I am that Dhruv Tattva. I am that. Thou art that. Tattva Masi. Appa so Paramappa. I am that. I am that. I am that. That will then whatever your children do now, if they do something less or more which are not according to your expectations, you won't fret and frown. You will let go of things. So you are not nurturing the Kashaya Agni. because the drug inside you have checked no the drug inside you have checked so that whatever less or more they do or which is not according to your expectation you won't bother so you have given them their space they are at peace you have taken your space you are at peace you are in so this is social harmony you understand so how how our own happiness can generate can be instrumental for the happiness of others but supposing you are having the drug inside you are having the kashaya inside and you are not happy with what the children are doing you will be taunting them you will be saying something to them which they may not like and you may become an eye sore for them and they want to say no papa you go to your house you go to that brother's house blah 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 so why make more enemies outside first you are your own enemy so you make enemies outside when you become your own friend the whole world becomes your friend even in the forest you go the animals are not fearful of you so like that a muni is one who has become his own friend sakal vrati 
he has taken the great vows of ahimsa satya aste brahmacharya parit so we are shravak we cannot take these great vows but partially we should take to them i will not intentionally now i don't want to go into the vrata this thing how to take the partial vows okay bad bhagi they are the ones who are the really fortunate people bhav bhogan te vairagi they don't want the bhav bhog they don't seek the material mundane pleasures that is vairagya so being born in a jain family and getting vairagya is not an ashcharya it is not at all an ash are you born in a jain family you don't have vairagya you are always on the tv mobile facebook insta internet that is an ashcharya that is an ashcharya are for what you are born in a jain family you have no sense of that uh, spiritual pure self you don't know who the aryans and siddhas are so that is an ashcharya that is a what to say a uh, tragic thing not ashcharya tragic thing. so he says the one who is a who is having vairagya and vairagya upavanamai chint and to get more vairagya they take to the twelve fold contemplations then in a chin when they take to this twelve fold contemplations sama sukha jagai they get the bliss of equanimity jimi jwalan pavan kai lagai just as the wind blows and the fire burns in the forest in the same way the winds of bara bhavana ka blow and the fire of dhyan okay will help them to get the bliss of happiness uh, some equanimity we all say samana shraman who is a shraman who does shram who does shama and who is sama shramana i'll put it on the board if i am the host you can see it who is a shramana i have already given you earlier shramana okay one who does shrama shrama means exerts effort applies effort exerts for what shama to do the kashai ka shama and then he experiences the sama the equanimity Looks like Ma'am's phone is having problem. Yes. 
sorry i got uh, detached i don't know i just went out i'm sorry about that okay am i with all of you dear yes ma'am yes ma'am okay chalo yes so uh, so understood shramana is one who exerts to remain a knower and seer but when he tries to remain a knower and seer the karma uh, the karma the kashaya and the raga dvesha they will keep uh, coming out that is the like the serpent hood the serpent hood no which keeps coming out again and again and again because as a coil inside raga is sitting the serpent that is coming out the hood is the kashay now when we say of kundalini so here what jainism says is that keval gyan is hidden and what has what is coming out is also gyan is also coming out so you have to awaken that serpent you have to awaken that consciousness of yours by which this serpent of kashay is overcome so for that the shraman is doing the shama kashay shama and what emerges from inside is sama samata understood all of you yes ma'am yes. okay yeah so this is what is the meaning and then what happens jimi jwalana pavana ke lage jab hi jiya atam jane when the muni is knowing his pure soul experiencing his pure soul that moment he is experiencing the shiva sukha keval gyan he is experiencing the shiva sukha keval gyan will come eventually as a fruit as the culmination of that samata okay hmm chal now anupreksha means what now comes the topic anupreksha this is all a prelude prelude ka bhi prelude ka bhi prelude now anupreksha means contemplation chintan repeated chintan is called anupreksha so this anupreksha can be done okay to go deeper into a concept or a subject or to contemplate more and more on any concept that you have already known so two things he says anupreksha repeated contemplation is taken up to contemplate on a subject again and again and again which you know or which you want to know both the play times both the cases one who knows the concept also has to repeatedly take to bara bhavna one who does not know the concept to know the concept you have to repeatedly take to bara bhav okay so what he says is supposing supposing you you name anything under the sun disneyland you like disneyland very much so will you not repeatedly think of disneyland what you did there what you will go there and do how it is how to go there hai na so that topic is of your interest vishay ruchi kar ho to the topic that you have decided upon you will be taking to it thinking about it again and again and again so first of all you have to like the pure soul only then you will contemplate upon it again and again and again and realize it purify it and liberate it until then it will remain in samsara so each line in this book no is like a pearl is like a moti i don't feel like skipping any line even if i do a few pages correctly i do i won't mind at all we can do more special lectures aage bhi but now i have to prepare you for exam also so accordingly i am rushing up theek hai chalo now he says chintan contemplation is the stepping stone to meditation it is the stepping stone to meditation and who decides whether you will take to dhyan for a longer period or not it is your ruchi it is your ruchi your interest okay then if it is of your interest then dhyan sahaj mein hota hai you don't have to apply any effort to do the dhyan for example the children love the mobile very much so 24 7 they will be holding on to the mobile and trying to discover what is in the mobile what is in the apps etc 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 right 
so hmm. there also they are only interested in gyan and darshan no and sukh through the mobile they are interested in gyan they want to reinforce their faith in something and they want sukh from that now you take away the mobile from them they'll become handicapped they'll become mentally disturbed they'll become stressed that means what we are the techno modern technology is making us dependent it is making us handicapped it wants us to be dependent on it now another way of looking at it so i told it the other day in the class you go to a restaurant the door opens automatically the billing happens automatically automatically the money is debited from your account credited to the restaurant wala's account so everything is happening automatically or not what did you do you only enjoyed the food okay so what uh, the technology is saying is are you are a karta leave it we'll do everything for you you just have to put your hand below the water tap it senses and it water flows automatically did you switch it on no automatically it happened by because you are a karta so go so, this way or go jainism way both the ways it is trying to make you a karta because you are a karta the ways are different but if you go deep down and see the line running below it is that you are a karta okay now he coming coming back so sahaj sahaj me chintan chalta hai so the more and more jigyasa you have write this word jigyasu jigyasa means curiosity see when a child is born no the curiosity bug is biting it it has come from another planet so it wants to explore what is on this planet and what we do we curb that jigyasa of the child it will try to meddle with something hey don't do don't do don't do don't it will try to do something hey don't do don't do don't do don't do then it will meddle with something will say don't do don't do don't do instead of channelizing its jigyasa we curb its jigyasa right from the childhood itself rather we should help the child to explore the things if it is opening a drawer you sit with the child open the drawer show him all the play, things let him feel everything let him know what is there that way his knowing nature his jigyasa will continue and it will remain with him throughout but it is curbed in the childhood itself it not as a as a toddler only it is curbed don't do that so here uh, dr sab says the more and more jigyasa you have in that proportion only the chintan will be profound and it becomes the foundation for researching on the eternal concept first jigyasa then profoundness the depth and then the researching attitude continues and you find new and new meanings to the existing world see the trikali dhruva exists we have to find meaning we have to find it okay so we have to understand to understand something we need bara bhavana and if you have understood something to understand deeply we need bara bhavana now he is asking that anupreksha comes under dhyan or gyan anupreksha ka chintan is gyanatmak transcending the anuprekshas will lead to dhyan first you have to take to it like you have to take to a boat you have to use that boat cross the ocean then leave the boat so like that the bara bhavanas are gyanatmak and then when you give it up when you transcend it when you absorb in the reality it becomes dhyan okay so akalanta dev in sanskrit is given beautiful four lines if i have to read it it will take time i'll just tell you the meaning of it uh, he says in rajvartik chapter 9 sutra 236 vartik 12 patta kalank hmm what has he say he says that uh, anuprekshas 
come under dharma dhyana and when you give up the anuprekshas you reach shukla dhyan and in reality shukla dhyan only is dhyan everything else is preparation not to take to artha raudra and to take to dharma dhyan and not just to be in dharma dhyan but to rise above that and reach shukla dhyan is the uh, purpose of uh, jain philosophy okay so uh, anupreksha comes under dharma dhyan is not the right way to say because dhyan is always nirvikalpa so it is gyanatmak it is vikalpatmak vikalp means it's a thought process okay so when you contemplate on anitya etc it is gyan swarupa gyan gyanatmak then it is called anupreksha and when you apply that anitya etc then the chitta your chitta becomes concentrated concentration increases then it is called dharma dhyan chitta ki ekagrata is called dhyan chitta ki ekagrata concentration of the chitta now this chitta means the consciousness the upayoga this chitta has vrittis the upayog is always fluctuating fluctuating means it is flickering it is always uh, it is like a monkey mind you know sometimes thinking of this sometimes of that some it is never focusing on one object when you take to these bara bhavanas and then you focus on one object then it is called dharmatya understood the difference now next page number 14 he says uh the purpose of these bara bhavana are two fold first vairagya utpadak vairagya ka utpadak manufacturer of vairagya how in a factory things are manufactured like that vairagya is manufactured or created or experienced through the 12 fold anuprekshas so what is required is not merely bara bhavana but that bara bhavana which will lead to vairagya vairagya means what no rag dvesha state is called vairagya vitaragata so we say no vitaragata ki janani akeli udasinata what is the meaning of the word udasinata ut plus asin ut matlab uncha uncha matlab on a high pedestal asin means sitting sitting on the high pedestal of spirituality divinity is called udasinata experiencing the spirituality and divinity sitting on the high pedestal of vairagya is called udasinata so we need the bara bhavana which will create or generate vairagya and that will happen through the first six of the 12 fold anuprekshas are vairagya utpadak the next six are tatva parak related to metaphysics metaphysical contemplation the first six are those which will generate vairagya and then the next six are those that will help you to realize the metaphysical concepts so what is required is not just contemplation of bara bhavana but the bara bhavana that will lead to vairagya and tatva chintan tatva abhyas now he says tell me one prani who does not take to any concentration any chintan a person working at google does not he require concentration a person working on the mobile trying to look at a movie or buy some product is he not focusing on something one ant is it not focusing on something when a tiger wants to catch its prey is it not focusing on something 
when the hunter wants to catch something is it not focusing on so there is no prani who is not doing gyan and dhyan every moment gyan and dhyan is happening for all the jivas but for the samanya people for the general people that gyan and dhyan is related to sense pleasures it is related to bhogo pabhog it is related to panch indriya vishaya and it is related to kashai so the chintan is kashai oriented that chintan we have to make it consciousness oriented so vitaragata vairagya oriented enlightenment oriented got it yes ma'am okay very good thank you keep nodding ha huh? thank you one a badal badal ke head nod kar yeah. chinta chetan ko dahe chita dahe nirjee chinta chinta what to say i don't want to give the literal meaning but chetan ko dahe it burns the living being whereas chita burns only dead bodies chita means a funeral pyre burns only dead bodies but anxiety stress tension burns the chetan that is the kashaya agni okay now he says very very important point importance is not of chintan and dhyan what is important is the direction of the chintan and dhyan chintan means contemplation dhyan means concentration mm -hmm. what is important is direction of the concentration and the contemplation that is important okay hmm so if that is not samyak if that is not samyak if that is not clear taking to these 12 fold contemplation can increase your stay in samsara you understand if you don't know the direction the purpose the goal fixing is not happening and you simply take to bara bhavna you have become a muni you have become a vrati but you don't know the purpose the idea the methodology anything you don't know the logic you don't know you take to bara bhavnas you will get shubh karma you will go to devalok after that where you will go dadam se ni gut right huh okay so direction is important see uh, we all know that beautiful illustration no uh, one person uh, in the night no he wanted to reach somewhere so he took his cycle and he kept on pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and when when the sun when the day breaks he realizes he is not moved an inch from his house why because the cycle was on the stand the cycle was on the stand he did not remove it from the stand so simply taking to bara bhavna is peddling without removing the stand of mithyatva you won't reach anywhere again one more example we get no one hmm, person coffee kudikringla ah uh, one second one second one second oh please uh, par host please mute everybody malati madam okay no problem no problem ho jata hai so there's one more example one person no uh, very late in the night wanted to reach a destination by boat so he started rowing a boat he took the boat he started rowing the boat and when the day breaks he realizes he's on that same place why because he did not untie the boat from the stand so like that we have to untie our boat of ignorance and then do the peddling of vara bhavna we will reach the shore of liberation okay well, now so and this is that samsar that samsar that water is of kashai kashai let that kashai be you keep rowing your boat you will reach the other shore okay chalo so next uh, now what he says is page number 14 first of all the direction of bara bhavna write down the direction of bara bhavna has to be fixed second 
understand the momentariness of all sanyo please mute yourself dear or please make me the host hello please mute everybody thank you i don't want any disturbance first of all i'm reading in hindi and talking in english i need to concentrate and if no videos are on i will not talk chal so first the direction of our contemplation has to be fixed second we will understand profoundly the momentary nature the ephemeral nature of all associations sayog thirdly we will understand that whatever vikar we are doing vikar means rag dvesh kashai how wrong they are fourthly you will understand the potential of the swabhav and then you will take shelter in the swabhav and the bliss that you will experience and how difficult it is to experience that bliss these are the focal points of the 12 anuprekshas according to the author complete phd material is there in this book do you want me to repeat the points or is it okay nandita ji repeat the points ma'am repeat the points first of all direction of 12 bhavanas sure. has to be fixed after that only you will realize the uh, with profound uh, profoundness you will understand the ephemeral nature of all the associations sayogo ki kshana bhangurta hindi is given then whatever kashai you are taking thoughts you are taking how wrong they are vikar vikar means kar means karya vikar means wrong karya vipreet you are you are flowing in the wrong direction you will understand that you get you flow in the wrong direction and as soon as you understand that you are flowing in the wrong direction you will arrest it you will arrest it so your ashram stops summer starts okay then you will understand then you will come to your swabhav then you will understand the potential of the swabhav swabhav ka samarthya then you will take to you will take refuge shelter in the swabhav then you will experience the bliss and how difficult it is to experience that bliss these are all the focal points of the explanation of the bara bhavana in this book okay now the kram the order in which the bara bhavanas are given with slight difference both the 11th and 12th will be interchanged but mota moti you get this order only okay now why this order why this order of 12 bhavanas is told in 15th uh, page on 15th page okay and what is the general nature of these bara bhavanas we will see now first of all when we are born we are born means what the soul coming in association with a body is called birth there is no birth of atom also there is no birth of soul also both are eternal only the the compounds the molecular structure combinations are born and destroyed you understand this book is made of a set of molecules the molecules have come together we say the book is produced the atoms are not produced the molecular combination of this book are produced in the same way when this book is destroyed the molecular combination is gone the atoms remain as it is likewise when we are born means the body coming in association with the soul 
So it is an association, which is anitya. The body and soul coming in contact is an association. It is a sanyog. Jiska definitely there is a viyog. And any association happens only for disassociation. Parents bring the children in this world. They go away. They get disassociated. Or sometimes the children die. They get disassociated. Anything that comes in contact with you gets disassociated. The food that you take in gets disassociated in the form of stools early in the morning. Giving you the energy. Again, its structure, everything changes. So your body is made of the food. The food that you ate yesterday is the body of today. Understand? So anything, now, yesterday you wore a set of clothes. Today, another set of clothes. Association, disassociation. You were with another company yesterday. Today, you're in another company. Tomorrow, you'll be in another company. Association, disassociation. Okay, the same food we don't want every day. The same restaurant we don't want every day. The same movie we don't want every day. The same set of friends we don't want every day. New, new places, new, new things we want. That means new, new association. And all association, disassociation leads to the disease. And we flow with the current. We enjoy the association. And when it gets disassociated, we fret and frown and we have that anxiety. Today, I'll get to meet my boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm very happy. Oh, I don't get to meet. I'm very unhappy. So we consider happiness. We associate happiness with all associations and uh, associate happiness, uh, sadness with this association. Sanyog hai to khushi hai. Viyog hai to dukh hai. This is our understanding, which is very, very primitive. Man has evolved from the primitive state, but the primitive mind has not yet evolved. Got it? So first is Anitya Bhavana. That whatever you are flowing with in this world is all ephemeral, momentary, momentary, non-eternal, impermanent. Kitne words they the ephemeral, transitory, Momentary, impermanent. Char words mil gay English me. Happy. All of you happy? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Now tell me what are all the associations? First body. With the body comes all the relations. Then all your finances. Then all your job. Uh, eight minute, huh? just give me one. Yes, people. Yes, people. So, understood, Anitya? Because we are surrounded by all associations, we have to first understand that they are all momentary. Anything that has come in contact with you is going to be separated. It has come in contact with you to go away. Don't give permanent value to impermanent things. Don't assign permanent value to impermanent things. Let go of them when they are to go. If you hang on to them, then that is attachment. And when you let go of them, it is detachment. The more you attach value to it, it is suffering when it separates from you. 
so before it separates itself from you you separate yourself from it not physically but mentally understanding the spiritual truth behind your existence so anitya bhavana is put first because you are surrounded by all associations how to look at all the associations that view point okay simply saying everything is impermanent impermanent is not anitya bhavana understand the permanent reality hidden behind all molecular associations you are permanent whatever is yours is impermanent that is the first bhavana anit bhavana we will do it in detail when we come over yeah got it okay so what is nearest to us is the body and with, we have given permanent value to that body and when something happens to the body we panic in the body there are trillions of cells today bp will be more tomorrow sugar will be more then cholesterol will be more or less or whatever it is and you keep oh my god this has happened that has happened this has happened that so what you are doing artha dhyan sharira chinta rog chinta nidan i want this i want that i want this so we are in artha dhyan raudra dhyan so when you understand the what what you understand that all associations are anitya because they are anitya they are not fit to take sex, refuge in them they are asharan they cannot give you refuge so they are asar the third bhavana sansara bhavana so i don't want oneness with them they are different ekatva anyatva ho gaya i don't seek oneness with them i am happy with my own self ekatva anyatva bhavana has manifested and then you you look at the body but then the body is full of filth where is the soul in this that soul is shuchi even though the body is filthy and ashuchi i am shuchi i am nitya i am i can only give shelter to myself sharan i am sar i have oneness with myself i am the most beautiful i am satyam shivam sundaram so when you understand this i correctly i means the pure soul not the body which is distinct from the body i am the satyam shivam sundaram i am the truth i exist i am consciousness i am bliss when you have oneness with the pure soul you will experience a peace equanimity samata shanti anand sukh everything so even though we are contemplating on all the associations the purpose is to go beyond the association and realize that i am permanent all these are not now now listen to me supposing a person is full of this essence of bara bhavana and there is a death in the family will he be suffering yes karmic uday is there which makes him suffer he will suffer but internally he knows the reality so he is actually not suffering like they'll give you one example over here uh, ramachandra lakshman ram shri ram ram was samyak drishti and he took the dead body of lakshman for 6 months he carried on his shoulder hoping to revive the life of lakshman being a samyak drishti he is crying for his child for his brother why he knows yet that moha he gets carried away by it that moha uday makes him do all these things but internally he knows that he is not the doer he is only a knower and seer 
internally from the from the darshan gyan point of view he is at peace but the mohaniya karma charitra mohaniya karma ka prabal uday makes him do all these things you understand yes. but we are not like that no we are not so deluded like ram that if our brother dies we'll keep him for 6 months नो ना हम तो आजकल दो तीन दिन में सब क्रिया कर्म खत्म एक दिन में उठावना खत्म नो बडी शुड कम ओवर एक दिन में सब खत्म ओल्डन डेज एंड ऑल ट्वेल्व डेज फिफ्टीन डेज है ना तेरह दिन चलता था अभी तो सब एक दो तीन दिन एंड आजकल तो सब मोबाइल पे ग्रीट कर दो कोरोना टाइम कोई आना जाना नहीं ओनली फिफ्टी पीपल ओनली ट्वेंटी पीपल सो छोड़ दो मो परिग्रह इवन कोविड इज टेलिंग अस है ना सो so, कहीं आना जाना नहीं क्यों आना जाना आपका स्वभाव नहीं है रहना आपका स्वभाव तो घर में रहो आप अपने आत्मा के घर में रहो दट्स योर नेचर नो नीड टू गो एनी वेर यू गॉन इन द होल लोक स्वरूप यू वॉन्डर्ड एवरीवेयर लाइक दैट ओके चलो वापस अभी आ जाते हैं सो अंडरस्टूड वॉट दे ट्राई टू से वॉट दे ट्राई टू से अनित्य भावना वाई इट इज केप्ट फर्स्ट बिकॉज इट इज अनित्य it is not it is asharat it means all the sanyog they are non eternal so they are not worth seeking shelter so there is no essence in them asar sansar it is sansar sansarana sansarati iti sansara that which always keeps changing is called sansar impermanent only change is permanent according to buddha when you understand change is permanent you don't flow with the change you remain the permanent self you enjoy the permanent self you experience the permanent self the trikali dhruv provided you know the philosophy okay chalo so the first six are vairagya utpadak which will give you vairagya from all associations okay so i'll tell you one thing the best thing after uh, this parmagam and genealogy studies is you will experience desirelessness in that desirelessness if you know the jinwani in detail you will experience the happiness you will want more and more of detachment and desirelessness the more and more you become detached and desireless your happiness quotient keeps increasing see whatever you do in this world you become a chakravarti you know chakravarti emperor of emperors when bharat chakravarti became the chakravarti he had to go to a certain place and chanda gaadna tha unko and he had to unfurl his flag of victory when he went there he saw already that mountain is full of flags there's no place for his flag so what he had to do he had to take out somebody's flag and then he had to place his flag immediately he realized today i am removing somebody is tomorrow somebody will come and put theirs so even this is impermanent so when chakravarti ki sampada is also non eternal then how your uh, sampada my sampada can be eternal sooner or later it is going to be detached from you see atma does not have any pockets where you can keep the gold and silver and your currency and keep it with you but what happened in childhood we had one small pocket where mama gave some biscuits and chocolates and toffees and we took it to school and we had it in leisure then slowly that biscuit chocolate was replaced by coins then coins by currency then when it became full you had a wallet the wallet became full you had a box box became full you had a locker locker became full you had a bank locker one bank locker became full 2 3 4 5 6 bank lockers any end to it 
so the more lockers you have the more possession you have your mind has to concentrate on those things so you are away from happiness real happiness of detachment so the more attached you are the more unhappy you are actually from the spiritual point of view so material point of view you need wealth okay have it no problem if a shravak does not have kaudi he is do kaudi ka and if a sadhu has kaudi he is do kaudi ka so a shravak should have the currency okay currency is for getting the access to the material uh things wahan tak theek hai but your life is only to safeguard the wealth you have to count the wealth you have to maintain the wealth you have to increase the wealth you have that means your life is like the chintamani ratna and you are using it to maintain the impermanent wealth you are the permanent treasure but you are not seeking that permanent treasure and you are engaging in maintaining the impermanent world reality so no greater fool than us so they have placed this anitya bhavana first okay like that you have to understand anitya asharan ekatva so when you understand anitya you lead to ekat when you understand asharan you come to ekatva ekatva means oneness with the pure soul when you understand that the sa- sansar there is no sar oh then where is the sar i am the sar my gyayak bhav that is the essence then ekatva happens anyatva happens then ashuchi body is ashuchi i am shuchi and when you experience the shuchita the purity of the pure soul asrav has stopped somewhere has started the next sixth and seventh bhavana has fruition nirjara is taking place supposing i don't take to this realization of the pure soul somewhere nirjara doesn't happen then the loka swarup bhavana will help you to understand that in the whole universe is a game of association and disassociation i can be reborn as an animal or as a nigod or as a narak jeev then will i get an opportunity to meditate on my pure soul and liberate it bodhi durlabh bhav oh bodhi durlabh so let me come back to my pure soul dharma starts dharma bhavana starts so when you contemplate on one all the 12 are included in it provided you know the depth of it you know the methodology you know the essence of it am i with all of you yes ma'am got it very clear ma'am very clear okay okay so like that you have to understand that uh, the 12 bhavanas now he quotes see i'm still in the first chapter only is it okay the speed is okay or you want me to rush no, up no this is very good ma'am this very clear okay. okay now now pandit dolar ram dolat ram ji he quotes in the loka bhavana kena ho na karau na dharai kau shad dravya mai na harai ko so loka mahi bin samata dukh sahe jeev nit bhramata where it is given the reference is not given he has put one over there but it's missing okay nazan matter he said it is in loka bhavana that is a fifth dhal you can go and see kin hu na karau na dharai ko that means what nobody has made this world the world is uncreated indestructible but every paryay is created and destructible you have to look at the loka from four view points write down the four view points द्रव्य क्षेत्र काल भाव द्रव्य क्षेत्र काल भाव द्रव्य मीन्स द स्ट्रक्चरल वर्ल्ड मेड ऑफ सिक्स द्रव्यास इट इज देयर इटर्नल 
the six dravya will be six only in this universe so from the dravya point of view it is permanent kshetra 14 raju lok is permanent kal keeps operating on all the six dravyas so all the six dravyas are paryay is changing which are impermanent the bhav the physical the chemical properties they keep changing so they are non eternal so the lok is nitya nitya it is eternal from the atomic and the soul point of view all the six dravyas exist permanently but their forms their modifications are impermanent the dravya itself is the creator and destructor of the parya utpad and vyaya is happening in each dravya simultaneously it is permanent also impermanence and permanence are embedded in the dravya like for example the fan is moving yet it is static on the wall it does not move from one room to another room it is static yet it is moving it is moving yet it is static like that all the dravyas are permanent as well as impermanent and nobody has created this world nobody governs this world nobody destroys this world the brahma vishnu mahesh is embedded in every atom and every paryay of every dravya the paryay comes utpad brahma the paryay previous paryay gone shiva but permanently the dravya exists that is the vishnu tattva so this universe is anadi ananta shat dravya mai na haraiko so loka mai in this world loka swarup without samata dukh sahe jeev nit bhramata the jeev is experiencing dukh and wandering in this samsar because it attaches permanent value to impermanent things so no samata is experienced clear so when you read jainism and you understand your pure soul you will experience the samata you won't give permanent value to impermanent thing you let go of things letting go of things is only vairagya holding on to things is vairag holding on to things is rag letting go of things is vairagya okay now uh, we should not put these 12 bhavanas in brackets vairagya and tattva here it is primary and secondary primarily vairagya primarily tattva okay like that now very beautiful example he gives he says a farmer does not plow the land or does not sow the crop without plowing the land pehle wo khet ko samtal karta hai if there are big stones boulders small stones etc etc in the field he will plow it plow kaise karega tractor se bullock se rak kar ke plow karega upar niche karega mitti ko you know and then he will sow the seed then that seed will germinate sprout the crop he will get the fruit he will get of his efforts this is a procedure no so he says that if your chitta bhumi is kathor is shushka is not having the vairagya the tattva chintan seeds if you put they will not germinate and flower समझ में आया इफ योर चित्त भूमि इज नॉट फर्टाइल विथ वैराग्य ट्वेल्व भावना सीड्स इफ यू सो यू वॉन्ट गेट द क्रॉप ऑफ मोक्ष सो यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट वैराग्य इज सो वैराग्य मीन्स यू आर रेडी फॉर हायर थिंग्स वैराग्य इट सेल्फ इज नॉट एवरीथिंग vairagya means you are ready for tattva chintan tattva chintan is not ready everything 
tattva chintan should lead to experience of the reality tattva abhyas oh i am the jeev i am the knower i am the knower uska abhyas that is dhyan that is why all our tirthankars are in dhyana mudra so beautiful no jainism is so beautiful so beautiful ओके सो अंडरस्टूड भाव भूमि को पहले फ्लाउ करो चित्त में कोई विकार है वॉट एवर विकार आर देर इन द चित्त एनी पाप यू हैव डन एनी रॉन्ग यू हैव डन फॉर मूव ऑन फॉर वन पाप डोंट फील गिल्टी ऑल योर लाइफ क्रमबद्ध में दैट वाज टू हैपन इट हैपन दैट वाज डिस्टाइन टू हैपन इट हैपन since anadi kala i have been wandering how many sins i have done for what all should i fret and frown are ho gayi galti ho gayi kshama now i will not do any mistake so kshama means liberating yourself from all remorse and guilt and thoughts and concentrating on the pure soul the knower and seer okay now he says three steps for veda vigyan page number 16 and 17 three steps for see vairagya means bhed it will come only through bhed vigyan soul science science of discrimination between the permanent and impermanent between that which will give you shelter and that which cannot give you shelter between asar and sar ha huh? all that that then the ekatva comes no that is bhed vigyan so how it will come he says first give up looking outside par sanmukta samapt karo don't be dependent on any external place people things how a muni is not dependent on your house for food he is not dependent on your place for stay like the birds the munis are not dependent on anybody they don't stock for tomorrow so par sanmukta ko samapt kar first one then antarmukh hona come closer to yourself when you come closer to yourself your mithyatva will go what all will happen your mithyatva will go mithyatva means first mithyatva asram will go samyakta samvar will start and the more and more your mithyatva goes your vrat samvar will start we studied in dravya sangra no vrat tap and shrut they will increase in your life the more and more shrut increases swadhyay increases vrat and tap will increase if vrat and tap are not increasing means your swadhyay is incomplete your swadhyay is not up to the mark you are taking a car and driving means you should reach your destination if you are not reaching your destination means something is wrong you are wandering or you are not moving only like that we have to understand that your mithyatva asrav goes samvar starts then your vrat samvar pra apramad samvar akashay samvar yoga samvar will start after this samvar starts nirjara will start dharma will be experienced वस्तु स्वभाव धर्म विल बी एक्सपीरियंस्ड दिस इज मोक्ष मार्ग यू विल वॉन्ट टू अडोर कमिट मैनेज योर प्योर सोल and when you take shelter in this ratnatray will manifest the three jewels the three gems of the pathway of liberation 
the nirmal pariyai of ratna trai will emanate from the pure soul the three gems the three ratnas jewels no they are jewels will one second no emanate from the pure soul पानी दे देना सब आदमी ठीक है अंडरस्टूड पीपल हाउ रत्न त्रय हैपेंस हाउ रत्न त्रय हैपेंस ओके सो अंडरस्टूड द स्टेप्स फर्स्ट गिव अप डिपेंडिंग डिपेंडेंस ऑन द एक्सटर्नल वर्ल्ड लुक इन साइड डाइव इन साइड एक्सपीरियंस रत्न अगेन डोंट लुक आउटसाइड लुक विथ इन सीक द सीकर know the knower see the seer experience the experiencer observe the observer then you will experience the reality and the more and more you experience the reality ratnatraya will manifest and perfection culmination of ratnatraya is moksha bhava moksha and then dravya moksha okay ha ah, now when should we take to bara bhavana morning afternoon evening which is a mohurt for this any mohurt for this all the time yes shall we go to a jyotishi and ask oh i have understood jainism from priya ma'am now i'll go to an astrologer and ask him when should i take to bara is it is it the right time for me are my graha all favorable for this should we do that when we should do always ever and ever it is a shreshth bhojan for a mumukshu a, a person who is a spiritual seeker eats more and more or takes to more and more of this bara bhavana even if he is not contemplating on bara bhavana bara bhavana ka essence is running in him you understand yeah you understand okay chalo so Uh, in one chand of pandit bhag chand ji we have all the 12 bhavanas page number 17 what are those jag hai anitya jag means not the world outside the world inside of moh rag dvesh kashai even your gye paryay the paryay of gyan is also anitya your body is anitya your associations are anitya your gyan ki par- even keval gyan is anitya because it's a paryay keval gyan was not there yesterday it is there today the next minute keval gyan paryay is different from the previous paryay because what you cognize in keval gyan is different from what you cognized a minute earlier it is anitya tame saranana vastu koi so there is no taking shelter even in keval gyan or in any gyan paryay you have to take self refuge in the trikali dhruv it is nitya it is worth taking sharan it is sar about which we sang in the four lines no main dhyeya hu main dhruv hu main gyeya hu main gyan hu main shraddheya hu memorize those four lines and sing every day but mere singing it is not going to help you until unless you realize it and experience it okay tate dukh rasi bhav vas kau nihari because it is anitya asharan it is dukh ki rashi bhav vas kau nihari why are you looking at the world outside एक चित्त चिन्ह सदा भिन्न पर द्रव्य नीताई एक चित्त कीप दट कॉन्शियसनेस चिन्ह चिन्ह आफ्टर नोइंग इट सदा भिन्न पर द्रव्य से इट इज टोटली डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम ऑल पर द्रव्य इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अशुचि शरीर आपा न आपा बुद्धि धारिये don't consider the body as the self don't consider the mind as the self don't consider the intellect as the self 
you are the seat of all knowing and seeing not the mind or the brain or the body so when you come to yourself the gyayak bhav ragardik bhav karai karma ko badave if you don't know this pure self you will take to rag oh when i am taking to rag my sansara is increasing stop it it not stop it it will get stopped then sambar swarup hoy karma band dariye you will ex- come one you will come closer to yourself sambar starts now karma will be scared of you they will start leaving you and you are frightening the karmas there is no room for them now you are awakened like a lion you are roaring like a lion inside the karmas the wolves the gidar sab bhag jayenge teen lok mahi jin dharm ek karma band dariye matlab nirjara teen lok mahi jin dharm ek durlab jin dharm means the dharm of conquering to be a conqueror oneself that is most difficult to get taate jin dharm ko na chin ho visari so don't forget your atma dharm even for one kshan even for a minute because today your eyes may close tomorrow it will be another world there again you will get this kind of body mind intellect knowledge attitude perception family which will support you to pursue your spiritual goal very 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 difficult because you have taken to all kinds of sansar ke bhav and trapped yourself in ragadvesh so you will go to different bhav of ragadvesh only supposing you hate the muslims you will be born in a muslim world don't hate them see them also as gyayak bhav poor people they don't know that they are gyayak i have pity on them okay so now each bhavna very briefly we'll do page number 18 anitya bhavna says all are impermanent you are permanent okay all are impermanent you are permanent so don't take to any mantra tantra etc and no but no mantra tantra children can protect you at the time of death at the time of death take shelter in your pure soul that moment you can get nirvan if you are ready even at the time of death you take shelter in your pure soul next birth you can start a new chapter of being a pure soul you can get nirvan over there provided bell begun is half done okay so all all this is clear all this is clear now coming to the page number 18 anitya asharan anitya everything is anitya so not worth taking shelter it is asar it is uh, asar means what no essence in it no essence in it so no oneness with it they are all other i am other they are other now ashuchi bhavna says that the body for which you delight so much it is a house of mal mutra what is coming out of this body only filth excretory uh, things and uh, urine whatever good things come in the body become excreta and go out that is what the body is made of yet yet this body is important to travel on the path of moksha human body human birth because in it resides the pure soul in it matlab what see we are all living in the house in this house i am living so am i living in the bricks or am i living in the empty place in the house empty place likewise the soul lives in the body empty place akash pradesh atma pradesh it does not it is not there on the skin 
but they say no beauty is skin deep so deeper and deeper and deeper you go into your body you realize the sachidananda swarupa that is the beauty that is a satyam shivam sundaram okay now in the first six bhavanas that we saw just now he asks us not as he tells us to have vairagya from three things what are those three things sansar sharir and bhog sansar sharir and bhog and bhog bhog pleasure oh, okay pleasure bhog bhog vasana sansar sharir and bhog. sansar includes your family kith and kin your material possessions sharir includes your body bhog includes your sense pleasures so when you have oneness with the pure soul there will be a detachment from these three things which is called vrat and tap the more you detach from sense pleasures tap happens the more you detach from the body and sansar vrat happens live like a muni muni sleeps on the ground you try to sleep on the ground muni keeps very little things you also try to keep very little things he takes to the bare minimum things you also take to the bare minimum associations food and pleasures or whatever it is the bare minimum so today the world you know the youngsters are moving towards minimalism living only out and in and out of the laptop but without this bara bhavana can that minimalism aparigra lead to moksha what toral it cannot it is good no. but not good enough good for the earth so that right, will take ma'am. them to devlok that will take them to devlok because bare minimum they came no but with lot of loads of mithyatva that will take them back to nigo see i am not commenting i am generally we are only discuss supposing you have to write a research article you have to write using all this okay so when you detach from the body you will definitely detach from the pleasures then you will visit your pure soul only then you will visit your pure soul simply talking of detachment and not and continuing to enjoy the pleasures and say ek dravya dusre dravya ko nahi use karta i am not eating and you keep on eating and eating and enjoying and thinking of food all this is swachhandi maya chari so when swadhyay shrut increases tap and vrat will increase then you can say the asrava has stopped sambar sets in okay so now he says asrav tatva ko kya samajhna page number 19 asrav tatva ko kya samajhna asrav is dukh roop right down it is suffering it is a cause of suffering it is impure asrav is suffering asrav is the cause of suffering asrav is impure then what is not suffering he says bhagwan atma is of the nature of bliss it is the cause of bliss and it is immensely pure then you experience that purity that is sambar and nirjara tatva and the sambar nirjara tatva inspires you to seek that purity within to seek that purity within 
the oneness with with the within what is at most difficult this is at most difficult to reach oneness with the pure soul had we had this oneness with the pure soul we would not have been in this conditioned state we would have been in the liberated state so dharma bhavana says this ratnatray is durlabh so pursue the vastu swabhava the you are a vastu you are a jeeva vastu your swabhava is gyayak bhav pursue that gyayak bhav that is dharma bhavana that for that only you have got this human birth when you come closer to your pure self the three jewels will manifest you not manifest you will get these three jewels you will realize these three jewels in your own soul understood पेज नंबर 18, 19 का सार अभी मैंने बता दिया नाउ ही सेज नाउ विद दिस विल बी एंडिंग द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ही सेज दैट फर्स्ट यू टोल्ड ऑल द संयोग आर अनित्य अशरण असार अशुचि ओके दे आर इम्प्योर सो शुड बी हेट देम शुड बी नर्चर हेटरेड फॉर देम देर आर पीपल हु स्टार्ट हेटिंग देम they start hating the family they start hating the body but again you are taking to dvesh only no first you had rag now you have replaced rag with dvesh both are karma bandha so what you have to do is you have to go beyond rag dvesh then you will experience the samata that bhita ragata is samata okay so don't hate your body don't depend on the body maintain the body to the bare minimum things it wants make use of the body to evolve on the spiritual ladder don't like it don't hate it just as you give the rent for a house like that give little food to the body with the correct combination natural sattvic food so that it does not disturb your health and you are able to meditate for long hours so know the nature of the body know the nature of the soul don't like anything don't hate anything enjoy being a knower and seer then only you get the real udasinta udasinta is a very great spiritual virtue okay understood the essence of this chapter yes ma'am yes ma'am thanks ma'am yeah any doubts any questions any doubts any questions anything that you have not understood you have missed something you can ask very very clear ma'am yeah very well explained ma'am very very clear yeah very clear thank you thank you thank you. it's so beautiful no oh, ma'am so beautiful no so beautifully written by dr bharil sir all of you please yeah. send him a compliment through swanubuti madam okay okay yeah. that we read this and we enjoyed it please tell him a big thank you for writing this for us how much effort they are putting it's such a big tragedy that people think that reading his books will be promoting digambar culture and they shun his books they don't read it okay now shall i start the anitya bhav now yes. how much time do we have we have only 5 minutes can i do justice in 5 minutes i have to do from page number 21 to 32 what i will do i will sing the four four lines and we'll stop and then next class will continue we will have two three extra classes also no problem okay thank you okay and as far as the question paper is concerned paper 1 2 3 the english people 
can ask me what is the meaning of this line i don't get it i won't give the answer but i can help you with understanding the question okay okay and logically you apply your mind you can proceed with your paper okay okay yeah okay anitya bhavana first anitya bhavana uh if i read no the hindi one it will take time but i would love to read it it's so beautiful भोर की स्वर्णिम छटा सम क्षणिक सब संयोग है पद्म पत्रों पर पड़े जल बिंदु सम सब भोग है सांध्य दिन कर लाली मां सम लाली मां है भाल की सब पर पड़ी मन होश छाया विकट काल कराल की दिस वॉज हरी गीति का राग यू नो छंद की राग भोर भोर मीन्स सन सनराइज डे ब्रेक डस्क इट इज सो गोल्डन नो आफ्टर सम टाइम इट बिकम्स प्रिकिंग हॉट इट इज क्षणिक then the dew drops on the lotus leaves they are like the dew drops on the lotus leaves like the day break the golden aura of the sun the day break and the dusk the golden sandhya dinakar sandhya means evening dinakar means sunset the lalima the redness of the sky like that all are anitya all are vanishing and death lays its mighty hands on all jeev and ajeev everything keeps changing then he says anjuli sam jal sam jawani kshin hoti ja rahi प्रत्येक पल जर जर जरा नजदीक आती जा रही काल की काली घटा प्रत्येक क्षण मंडरा रही किंतु पल पल विषय तृष्णा तरुण होती जा रही He says, just as you take water in your palm. what happens the water drips from the palm no like that your youth hood is going every moment you are coming closer to old age death is wandering on you just as a bee is buzzing on the flowers death keeps buzzing on you ready to take you and go but every moment my desire is becoming younger and younger and younger. the desire to see this movie the desire to do this the desire to go here the desire to eat the desire to talk the desire to enjoy is becoming new and new and new and new next one dukhmai paryay kshana bhangur sada kaise rahe amar hai dhruv atma va mrityu ko kaise vare ध्रुव धाम से जो विमुख वह पर्याय ही संसार है ध्रुव धाम की आराधना आराधना का सार है ही सेस दट एवरी पर्याय इज दुख मय इट इज क्षण भंगुर इट इज मोमेंटरी how can it be there eternally any parya you like see how much ever i'll give my example how much ever good food you eat one moment one time next minute again you have to eat or not kitna bhi acha khana bana lo kha lo lekin dusre samay to wapas bhook lagti hai wapas banana padta hai hai ki nahi so how can that one momentary thing give you permanent happiness it is shan bhangur shan bhangur means momentary ephemeral transitory but don't worry worry not you are dhruv 
your atma is dhruv how can death kill the atma the death can separate your atma from the body but it cannot kill your atma you are return to so be fearless namo jinanam jiya bayanam oh i got the jina in me i am fearless let birth come let death come it doesn't affect me i am already liberated when you feel liberated you become liberated when you don't feel liberated you will only attract more bondage so if you are away from your liberated bhav dhruva dham that paryay only is sansar that more agvesh paryay is only sansar so don't worry about the sansar worry about the dhruva dham adore the dhruv pure soul that is the essence of all adoration next संयोग क्षण भंगुर सभी पर आत्मा ध्रुव धाम है पर्याय लय धर्मा परंतु द्रव्य शाश्वत धाम है इस सत्य को पहचान ना ही भावना का सार है ध्रुव धाम की आराधना आराधना का सार संयोग क्षण भंगुर ऑल एसोसिएशन संयोग मीन एसोसिएशन आर मोमेंटरी but but atma is an abode of eternal nature that dravya the trikali dhruv dravya in which all paryay are coming of gyan of keval gyan they are also anitya but the dravya is shashvat oh when will i get samya gyan when will i got keval gyan that means the trikali dhruv dravya is worried about the paryay this is not the way to get keval gyan you become nishchant of all paryay and enjoy the trikali dhruv dravya keval gyan will come searching you it will come that is the way okay know this reality knowing this reality is the essence of bhavana and adoration of the eternal pure soul is the essence of all adoration I have translated these four four poetic lines for you. We will do the chapter in the next class. I would like to close the class now. Ma'am, Ma my bhav bhashan is left. So who is this? Rajal. You can do it. I'll get the book and come. Wait. First, let me have the comments from your side. Okay. Yes. Have you enjoyed this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for this extra class, and especially yes, for you. allowing the non-students uh, of this class. I'm very grateful to you for this. Yes, uh, I agree with Nandita. Nandita. Thank you, Nandita. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Very, very enlightening, and it's like you know, constantly hammering yourself. Yes. Yes, yes. Keep hammering. Who said this lines? Ma'am Minoti. Oh, Minoti. Okay, Minoti. Ma'am, and you know so many things. There are little things that you say, examples, but uh, you know somewhere it touches the heart, like introspection. Honestly, like you just said this one line that don't hate Muslims. There's nothing against, but you know so many things, terrorism and all that happens. So in the mind, you don't say you hate them, but in the mind, somewhere there is hatred. Thank you so much. I mean, I'll get, I'll try to get rid of this emotion. See, if you hate them, no, you will be more fearful of them. Yes, and you when you say you will be born in a family like that, so you know that. I mean, it. There are these little little things that touch you. That you know, why are we doing such things in our mind? Hmm. See, whatever corrections you have to do at your relationship level, keep doing without hating. Right, right, right. Okay. Without the delusion. keep doing it who is telling you not to do it your karmas will make you do all that but correct. with what attitude you do that matters correct correct ma'am hmm. thanks a lot ma'am thanks for accommodating our request to have this special class ma'am really appreciate your time ma'am thank you 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 ma'am
Yes, my family is wondering. July is your off month. Oh. <laughs> You're sitting in the class, man. As this you shows know. your uh, love for Jinwani, your passion towards uh, all this. You could have easily taken off uh, for July. We are really grateful to you. You are the only no, no. inspiration. And your passion to share your knowledge and help us to become uh, uh, more better and get more gyan. See, this subject is so dear to me. You know, I've written articles on this. They are published. I have written articles. I don't know where. I have to trace them and put it on board. And uh, it is one of my favorite lessons. So any time you tell me, even hundred times to do the lectures, I'll do it for the love of this subject. So you are all the nimit. Ki apke nimit se I got a chance to revisit it and present it. So reading in Hindi and talking in English, no. I wish somebody can do the translation. Looking at my lectures. you know yes, that sure. we have right. also uh, you know your lectures are such it's not just the term of the course i always feel you know i mean i get this thought that till i live i should be listen listening to them time and again we should listen to jinwani again and again and again. yes ma this is one thing that i'm doing now i'm doing this worship up i've become so desireless i don't feel like doing my routine work also just because i have to do it i will do it right i have become not lazy the energy i feel inside no sometimes i'll tell you i'll be driving my vehicle and it will be going at such super speed even without my conscious uh, this thing then i have to put brakes and bring down my energy that much of energy is uh, there because of my fasting and all these things you know so now i realize why all the tirthankars chose this path of tap and prescribed this path of tap and shrut is there because of jinwani parmagam studies and 12 vratas i have taken long long back and i keep taking on a day to day basis also my charnano yoga everything everybody you know i'm not i'm i'm giving you my example so that you can also uplift yourself yes ma'am thank you can you please share this uh, so that we can do chapter ha huh? चातुर्मास Yeah. Oh, Chaturmasa. <laughs> But uh, yeah. see, I, I don't want to. But Paramagam course me, वो सब आता नहीं है. लेकिन मैं लाके आपको link करके बता दूँगी. तो आप लोग जरूर फायदा आपको होगा. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Thank you. Hmm. Anybody else? Good, good. Anybody wants any other thing, suggestion, comments? Yes. Uh, so recording आपको मिल जाएगी. इस lecture की Kapil and Padma Priya will give it to you. and uh, we'll give it to you after they are placed in the group okay so those who want to leave can leave we'll end the class with the jinwani stuti nij nidhi nij me batai yah anant upkar hai uske liye jinwani ma ko vandana shat baar jai jinwani फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ मोक्ष मार्ग प्रकाशक ओके यू वॉन्ट मी टू आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट मी दी ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर येस मैम uh the first uh, chap cha bolo yeah the first chapter is uh, like a prelude to the whole book it is uh, hmm. uh, uh pandit ji first he tells us the importance of the uh, why he is writing it and the importance of mangla charan okay, this is a vitrag vigyan science which which is the which will uh, is the main thing to uh, to on the path of liberation he explains mm. the mangla charan the importance of mangla charan why is he writing it first 
so to keep away the evil and the book is written pro without any disturbance he tells us he talks about the authenticity of the book uh, the um, the number of uh, scriptures books he has referred to so it is a very pure it is what the agams it is coming down he has only given it to us in a simple um, layman's language because he his love for sharing and more people can benefit those who are not uh, cannot read the scriptures so he is and for them he has explained and uh, he has uh, given all the importance of the uh, panch parmeshti the the qualities why we should follow them why we should adore the arhantas then he has explained uh, in detail the qualities of a good listener and a good uh, shrota hmm. listener is shrota yeah so listener and the discourser discourser he has uh, hmm. given all the characters of them Okay. Yes. okay. 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 Now I know that you have read the chapter. Yes, Tell me some qualities of a good shrota. Ah, uh, good listener. Okay. Ah, yes. uh, good listener also. Three should... qualities. Three qualities. Okay. Uh, he should have a little knowledge. His grammar and all should be good with the terms so he can follow properly. He should follow. He should have full faith in the Jain, Jain uh, dharma and uh, have faith and also follow the. uh vitrag bhav which is uh, the the discourser is uh, giving and he should so follow the principles what is it. the first quality that a shrota should have he should have a, a faith in the jain uh, dharma no he should be a jigyasu jigyasu okay vichar kare ki main kaun hu he should be a seeker Seeker, yes. He, he has should... no knowledge. No, he only when he listens, he will have knowledge. Yeah, he should be a jigya. After listen, he... only he'll have faith. Yes, he but should... he should have the curiosity to listen. If that yes. curiosity is not there, he cannot go to the next level. Yeah, he wants. He wants to be a seeker for the answers of who I am. Uh -huh. I am you are. A, you are curious to know what Amazon product, new product has come. You are curious to know what new movie has come. But are you curious to know who you are? Ah, that is so that is the first quality, you know. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of that Doha Pandya Pandya Pandya? Is it there in your book? No, it's the English. No, no, man. English. Chodi bi tu sakandiya. Page number sixteen of Hindi. No. Acha, I was referring to the English book. Okay, okay. Then leave it. No problem. No problem. Ah. But you should know the meaning of those two lines. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll tell the meaning of those two lines afterwards. Okay. Now ah. you tell me other three qualities of a vakta. Ah. Uh, ha. Ah. Uh, the discourser. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Uh, he. He himself should follow what he is teaching. Hmm. Very. That good. is very important. Like uh, he will say something and then he is doing something else. Ah. Uh, that is important. Secondly. he he should be uh, he his grammar his knowledge his knowledge of the scriptures should be very thorough and so mm -hmm. that what he is explaining he gives the proper meaning if he gives a wrong meaning then the listener will go on a wrong path mm -hmm. okay chalo that's it your test is over dear i give you full marks thank you thank you thank you yes that's it yes miss book pindi ka arth bata dijiye na please हाँ पंडिया 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 हाँ 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 पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन ऑफ हिंदी इफ यू हैव यू ऑल कैन टेक पंडिया 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 काना छोड़ी भी तुसकंडिया पया थम तुट्ठोसी परमत्थ न जाने ही मूड होसी ही सेज ओ पंडित ओ पंडित ओ पंडित सो कॉल्ड वेलवर्स्ड स्कॉलर you are giving up the essence of the grain and you are satisfied with the husk ah kana chodi tus kandiya tus tus tum kan ko chhod kar ke tus mein santusht ho rahe ho tum pad aur arth ko to jante ho tum usme santusht ho gaye ho you are well versed in the letters alphabet sentences yeah. essence and you know the meaning but you don't know the essence of it oh. परमर्थ न जान ही मूड हो सी यू आर मूड ओके थैंक यू मैम 
Yes, right. ma'am, you had explained this, I remember. And yes. 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 Chalo, thank you, everybody. Jai Jinendra. Jai Jinendra. See you all. See you all.